Another day of testimony in the trial of Michael Johnson. He's the only person ever charged in the murder of Felicia Barnes, the honor student from North Carolina visiting Baltimore in December of 2010 when she vanished. Her body found months later in the Susquehanna River. WJZ is live at Courthouse East where the trial is taking place. Kimberly Eaton with today's testimony. Kimberly? And Jess, it was a contentious day in court. The state could hardly get out a question without the defense objecting, so the judge kept having to stop trial and call both sides up to the bench. At one point, scolding attorneys saying, I just need facts. Tense moments inside a Baltimore courtroom where a judge played referee, trying to keep attorneys on topic and on pace during day four of Michael Johnson's murder trial. He's accused of killing 16 year old Felicia Barnes, the younger half sister of his ex girlfriend, Dina Barnes, who testified Thursday. Telling the judge the night her sister vanished while family gathered and police started the search, Johnson didn't come home for hours. And when he did, she told the judge he said, quote, This isn't good. I was the last person to see her. Both of Barnes' sisters have now taken the stand, not allowed to speak to media as they left the courthouse with their father. We still stand focused, definitely. Stand focused for justice. The honor student from North Carolina vanished in 2010 just after Christmas while visiting her sisters in Baltimore. A months long manhunt ended when her naked body was found floating in the Susquehanna River. Since then, Johnson has already stood trial twice. Once convicted, that ruling overturned, then his second round in court ended in mistrial, now giving him again a seat at the defense table. The Barnes family also in the room watching old evidence resurface, this time they hope, with a new outcome. How is it for you to have to sit through this again? Very hard, very hard. It's the third time. It's the third time, you know. But it's, it, it's all good because the truth is going to come out. And also a lot of talk today about a big plastic tub that the state entered as evidence. Now that is a key piece to their case, trying to prove that Johnson used that tub to transport the body again, an argument that we've seen in the past. Reporting live in downtown Baltimore, I'm Kimberly Eaton for WJZ. Kimberly, thank you. Barnes had plans to move to Baltimore and go to college here. She was weeks away from her 17th birthday when she vanished.